Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am the innkeeper, and today we're playing at Timber and Stone, Lambda's Lay, Season 3. What are we looking at right now? See, I didn't I didn't do it! I didn't say what is this? What are okay, I just did then. I think I fucked it up. <laughs> there we go. Fantastic. A terrific intro, ladies and gentlemen. I am absolutely shattered <laughs> today. So I'm surprised that I got that energetic intro out the way with. I like to think that an energetic intro makes for an energetic Come on, words. Makes for an energetic session. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. That could also mean a few other things. I'm not really too sure. Let's keep it within the context of video creation. And let's not go into any other forms of entertainment. <laughs> wow. There we are. Fantastic. Anyway, Merv right now trying to get into the secret room. Oh, how I remember the days of him going into the secret room and being a little poop. No longer. Will that actually be the case? What did we do last episode? Well, last session that is, we created the floor. I was an absolutely dreadful human being. I did not show you the final product. That is because, like I just said, I'm a dreadful human being. We did, though, confirm that I am, in fact, a human being. So, <laughs> so there we are. I feel like we did a lot today. It's pretty good. We need to, however, go around and probably fix up these walls. Actually turn them into real walls. Then what we can do is try and get the second floor done for this castle. I want to try and do it layer by layer. That way we can make the proper ad adjustments and not have the awkward mess that was with these towers, which I quite... I'm growing that I'm growing on it, these like square tower base bits right here. But at the same time, I hate it just completely because it looks so boring. <laughs> That's really what the problem is. Also, it's really weird not hearing anything in the background. I do remember the days of season two when all we hear is just lovely music. In the background. However, we're, we're listening to post music now. Completely different world. At the moment for me, though, is just complete and utter silence. Let's make sure that nothing bad is happening to us. I think I just saw some wolves over there. I'm not too sure if that is the case. There's a bunch of spiders over here. Well, fortunately, they have been, com well, attained. Uh, no, that's attained isn't the right word. Uh, I was about to say decapinated. Then, I'm not too sure why. There we are. <laughs> Great. There we are. So like I said, today's session, we're going to be trying to uh, construct the walls. Something tells me this is the correct uh, height for these walls. And also, what we probably want to do is make sure there's actually a doorway for us to get around. Now, we'll need to go ahead and make some sort of connection with these these pi uh, pylons or pillars right here. And also, what the hell's happening there? Yeah, what, what has happened there? That's very strange. I guess I was supposed to have a wall going up there, but it didn't actually end very well. It looks like it's because... Okay, yeah. It's because it actually gets in the way of... Wait, no, it doesn't get in the way of the door. Why is that like that? It annoyed me. To no end. Maybe I wanted to get rid of this. I think that's probably what's happening right now. You know what? Because I don't really want to go through the trouble of actually like, focusing on all that mess, we'll just go ahead and make sure this goes up to the appropriate levels. Let's go to our walls right now. Brick unchiseled. There we are. We'll go all the way up to the top. I haven't actually measured the height of these towers, and it's not something we're going to get done today. I have done a little bit of measuring for the front, so I do know that this tower should be 15 blocks high, and this back tower right here should be 24 blocks high, and the width will increase. Yeah, well, on, my, on Minecraft, the width of the towers did increase. By the width, I mean the circumference increased by one block. Every six blocks, every six blocks of height, I believe. So, well, yeah, that's what I did. But it looks a little bit weird. Or at least I imagine it will look really weird on this. So it might not be something I do. And instead, I might just go for the traditional straight up tower. Maybe a few architectural designs here and there. I'm not really too sure. But I think straight up <clears throat> and then the tip of the tower can be represented by the circumference. Opening up just a little bit. There we are. Fantastic. <laughs> We're already coming up with some interesting design Abilities right now, and by that I mean traditional design abilities that I've been using constantly throughout the entirety of ever, really. So there we are. Nothing new. Uh, our tools are apparently pretty high, and our wheat for some reason is in the yellow, which is very strange. It's usually red. There we are. That's pretty fantastic. Is there? I really can't hear anything. I can hear this. You'll be able to hear the mine, uh, which also reminds me. Haha! <laughs> that, um. Oh no, we have actually got loads of stone. 
It's wood. Yeah, wood was the problem we were having before, but it's not really going to be a problem anymore because we're not going to be continuing to use the timbered brick. I believe it was just for the first layer, but then again, I'm not really too sure if the... Well, the second layer should be just sort of this flat stone, I believe, followed by the usual castle brick walls. We'll get round to it. Let's just pause right now because, like I said, I want to get these towers done, or these uh, walls done. These uh, walls on this side are too big, so I want to go ahead and get that sorted out. We want them to be of the same height as these two towers right here, because I believe this is sort of an appropriate height for our walls. Uh, actually, wait, is that good? Yeah, yeah, I, I can see that working. We actually have some doorways right here, so it's going to work out for us in the later day. And at the same time, we want to have some walls right here. Let's just make sure, not walls, doors. Let's just make sure that a door there actually makes sense. It does make sense. It'll be kind of awkward, simply because it'll be one block up, but I guess we can put, like, some... Stairs up there or something like that. All I know all I know is that I need a door there because otherwise it's gonna be kind of strange We also want to fill in the uh, the blocks in the middle there. That might be a good idea With what I guess just the traditional castle brick sounds like a good idea to me. We'll go to construction we'll Go to actually we want to make sure this is all the same level. So let's see it should always it should be three blocks up now, it might seem small, three blocks up, but that's just on this side. That's the castle there. On the other side, it's like, what, 12? Okay, 7. Not 12. Okay, nowhere near, in fact. Then again, we didn't measure it from the water part right here. We're going to judge it by the size of the actual base. There we are. And that is still not 12. There we are. Good at counting, apparently. <laughs> very, very good at counting. We're going to mine up these blocks right here. And the same on this side, because these blocks are in fact too big. It's going to take a little while for us to mine all of this up. There we are. That's actually a bit of a problem, isn't it? There we are. Make sure to get rid of those top ones before we muck around with the side blocks. There we go. And it should be three, blo three blocks up, which is good to see. Maybe we should just go for the four blocks up, because it might be easier for us. Well, no, because then it won't align properly with the castle walls, which I think is more important. We'll get this stuff done in a second. There we are. So, a lot of mining needs to be done. We'll go to build right here and just make sure we have a wall to get up. Let's go to construction and utility scaffolding right here. And we'll make sure this goes up like this. And we'll make sure we've got another one that goes up like that. And we'll have another one right here. It's pretty cheap. It just means that they don't have to have a little bit of a bother going up and down and left and right and up and down more left and right. And maybe up and down again. And then left and right again. There we are. I actually was quite soothed saying that. I'm not too sure why. I guess because I'm actually really, really tired. That might be why. Make sure to get this done as well. There we are. Looks pretty good to me. I mean, I, I would assume it I mean, looks absolutely fantastic to me. I'm not going to lie. Let's make sure we get the bit done in the middle as well. Just so that we don't, have a, don't actually run into any troubles. There we are. We'll make sure the game's running in the background as well. Just so that people can actually go ahead and do all of the things that I want them to do. You know, multitasking right now. We're kind of bit paused all the time. Why was we just sitting around waiting most of the time? We want to make sure we're doing some selections. And at the same time, they follow those selections to the T. Wow, it looks fantastic. I forgot how good this looked. Also, there's a hoover in the background. I do apologize. Um, hopefully, that's not going to stay there. I am um, not cleaning while doing this at the same time. That'd be fantastic. That'd be quite the talent. I'm not going to lie. If I could do anything, it would be to clean while also recording. I think that's something that people would take for granted. I mean, well not, not for granted. I think that's something that people wouldn't appreciate too much, you know, not having to... Wait a minute. What am I trying to say? I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I kind of lost my train of thought there completely. It, it probably, to some, felt like I just stopped talking there. And I did. So I just wanted to clarify. You're not going insane. I did just stop um, completely. I'm sort of going onto a, a tangent that is nothing. And it's weird. And also, there's a mine right here, which is pretty fantastic to look at. It looks like our miners do, in fact, exist, which is absolutely fantastic to see. I want to make sure all these walls are ready to go. It does end right about here, which is fantastic for us, I might add, because it is supposed to. It's not meant to connect in any way unless we have some sort of door here, which we will not, simply because I think it might be weird. However, a door here might work out for us, but I'm not just sure if it's going to be of the right height. Well, no, it probably will. It might be a little bit strange, though. We might not get around to it, because the main hall is going to be basically two stories high. Maybe three? I've not properly calculated yet. I've still got the Minecraft map to my left, so I'm going to be going in and out, sort of, uh, periodically, just to see. Well, just to count and make sure everything adds up. The Minecraft map does count up to the 
max block height. So the castle is going to just overshadow everything that we will make. Which I'm really looking forward to seeing. Like just this huge spiraling castle of absolute greatness. At least I, I hope it is absolute greatness. The tallest tower I believe is this one. But I'm not too sure now that I think about it. Yeah, on the, on the map, it looks about the same size as this tower, which is 23 blocks up. Let's just make sure 23 blocks up is actually good. Because I know the map is 40-something-odd blocks. There was it. What was it? 24. Okay, so 20 floor is about here. 24, not 20 floor. And that is... Okay, it's nearly there, so we'll probably adjust heights a little bit more. I imagine this this one is actually taller, and it's just my map's like angled a little bit weirdly. That or I actually didn't set it to the max height, which... I'm not really too, you know, fussy about, because I know the castle is going to be bigger than anything else we'll really make. Or at least I hope it's going to be taller than this tower. How how tall is this tower? <laughs> anyway, we're about to find out now. I'm about to have a revelation. This is like 24 blocks. Oh, God. Very close. Very close. It's okay, you know what? We're going to adjust the tower height so it's a little bit taller. One of them will be taller than the other, though, because I quite like the inconsistency. So we'll probably make this one taller, simply because there's two towers here. And I just, I don't want the, I don't want this one to overshadow this smaller tower too much. Because otherwise it might look a little bit strange. This tower, though, is going to be quite small in comparison. So it's going to get you to the second floor. Or it's going to get you to the roof of the castle on this level. Which I think is about three floors high. So that's alright. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, we have that. And just, there's quite a lot left to do, really. Hopefully we can get these walls done. Looks like we will pretty quickly, so that's pretty nice to see. Looks like they're mining this bit out as well. Very cool. We'll tell them to mine the rest of this as well. We'll probably get a bunch of miners to just finish off their jobs. There we are. Fantastic. Very good to see. I think that's all the building done. Oh, no, we missed a block here. Or missed a spot. We don't really need to... Like, this hole's not needed for anything, so we just might, may as well cover it up. It might look a little bit different, because the wall will... Well, no, the walls should be fine. Uh, I think that's all right. God, the moat was ages ago, wasn't it? It's like episode 18. I think we're on episode 50 now. I think this is 50. I believe so. 50 episodes already. That's fantastic. Look how much we've done, though. Like, if you look back on season 2, it's nowhere near as... What am I trying to say? As far ahead, I suppose, as this. Oh, wow, and this was a little while ago now as well. These look fantastic, I might add. I, I really am... Quite proud, you could say. Uh, my hubris right now over the roof. Is that, is that the right word? No, <laughs> I'm not too sure what that is. Hubris. Sh that sounds like the right word. But there you go. <clears throat> like, well, is, wouldn't that mean like over cockiness? Is that what that would mean? I'm not sure. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> I had like an oat bar before I started and I got a little bit of oat stuck in my throat. Daddy -o. I wanted to start making a rhyme right there. Merv just like bit my tooth right there. Well, he didn't actually grab the tooth and pull it out. I do that myself on occasion. Ha 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 ha, he's British. No, <laughs> no not actually the case. I do look after my uh, great teeth. Uh, mostly because one day I'm going to cook Merv and just eat him up. There we are, he's right here right now. He bit my beard. Why? Why? Well, nearly there. Oh, oh. It's developing beard, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to build it into a strong, luscious beard that hopefully would not have to be shaved off before I go into an airport. That kind of beard. The one that's, you know, well-adjusted. That kind of thing. Not one where people are going to look at me and think, yeah, okay, you're going to come this, you're gonna have to come down here, sir. Which is, I might add, a little bit ridiculous. But there we are. <clears throat> Got our miners right here. Uh, the oat right there, which is like scratching at my throat right there, which is very painful. So you're probably going to hear some noises, maybe a little bit of gagging. I'm not too sure. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> there we are. I'm thinking about it. We're going to get there. We're just focusing on the wall right now. We can actually get this side done without too much of a bother, so we'll go ahead and do that. The wall layer should be made out of the castle brick. Because I like it to be connected to the main castle. I like this wall to also look like it's kind of a part of the castle. Because it's meant to be, this whole thing's meant to be the part of the castle. But this is like the main bit. It's mostly the keep right here. And then this is the castle part of the keep. There we go. It's fantastic. So we'll make sure this actually connects. But we also want to make sure it's like it's connecting like the. Actually, do we want it to do that like that? Kind of do. Have it connect down the layer. If we do want to do it like that, then we don't want to do the first layer. 
Oh, okay. Here we go. Got there in the end. Yeah, so if we want to do it like this, then it's going to have to do that. Um, do we corner it off? Yeah, we don't have any corners, so we don't really want to have it, like, square itself off at the corners. We'll see if this looks good first, because it might not look that great. A spider has apparently been spotted by Luke. That is quite unfortunate, also, don't... No, no, I remember a Luke. I, I remember. Got to do some renaming, but I'm not too sure if there is in one is anyone that requires renaming. Also, this part right here is a little bit awkward. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep going with this, or... I guess we're about to find out, because this is meant to be part of the tower. So, like, yeah, I guess this is something that we'll find out. Let's go to the spider, just to see if it's anyone that is a little bit too much of a spider. Might be a matriarch, and actually a spider. Here we are, Luke right now, going go for the kill. There we are, doing it for the thrill. I quite like it. Anything spawn? Did anything spawn? I've not seen skeletons in a very long time. It's just been spiders, which is very strange. Ever since we passed day 100, I don't really feel too threatened by anything at all, actually. It's very strange. Maybe that's a bug. Hey, I don't mind, but at the same time, it might, get, it might start to get a little bit dry, you know? Why are you all sleeping over there? Are the beds all full? Oh, they are. <laughs> we should start using some really good beds soon. So, yeah, the engineers live here. I love, I love this. It's so good. It's fantastic looking. They're not, he's not really doing anything, old Jared right there. You know, he's just a lonely old kook sitting around in his engineering bay. Every time you go in there, he's like performing really wild experiments. It's quite fantastic. Whereas our infantry right here, Usk's castle. This is Usk's castle, basically. But mostly it's, it's a barracks, though. He calls it his castle, though. But it's not. Although every man's home is his castle. There we, or every woman's home is their castle as well, you know. It's being multi-gendered there. Uh, I like the idea of that. Looks like us right now, level 20. Along with Stuart, where's your... Yeah, how birdie are right there? Finette. Right there, absolutely fantastic. I'm glad she is part of the group. And then Farkas right there, fantastic. Well, we got a good group of guards right now. Finette, though, wants to prove herself to us, okay? She wants to show that she is a strong fighter. I like the idea of that. Also, this uh, wall is coming along quite nicely. I mean, it's not going to look like the best thing in the world, but it might look like the best thing in the world. You're not really too sure until you make mistakes. So, there we are. Do we want this to connect up at all? Like, to this side? No, not really. I don't think we need to. The problem we're going to have is making the crenellations. Also, I completely forgot that you can do, like, this wacky stuff in building. You hold Alt, and you could, like, make a wall layer. It's fantastic, so it could be hollow in the middle. It's really cool. Or crenellations by holding Control. I completely forgot you could do this. I think Shift, yeah, Shift's just like a straight line. This could make our lives so much easier. If I remembered, what about shift alt? Okay, I know that actually deletes things. What about control and all? Okay, well, this is cool stuff that I did forget about completely because of my sheer and utter ineptitude. Stuart right there. Just, you know, let him kill the spider. He should be fine. There's quite a few spiders sort of roaming around doing their own thing. We should have no problem dealing with them. A lot of brick right now is being used, and it's actually starting to run out, which is quite scary to see. We did have about, what, 20k when we started or something like that. So it's really weird to see it sort of slowly start to run out. Looks like this side's continuing onwards, so we can just go ahead and get this connected. How was this side connected before? Oh, you know what? That's not meant to be there. No! Hmm. Yeah, this um, this bit's not meant to be here at all. I'm not sure why it is. I guess I just got a bit confused. It's fine. We'll mine them up. We'll mine those two pieces up. I actually quite like it. Nah, I don't like it. <laughs> I, I was lying to myself. I don't like it. <laughs> there we are. Castle brick right there. Yeah, it, it was like going out like this. I completely forgot that I'm not really blocking it off. So, basically, I screwed up on my aesthetics straight away. Or at least the idea of what I was trying to do right off the bat. Which is quite, it's quite frustrating, I'm not going to lie, I do it quite a lot. You know, and I find out that I've done something like just hilariously stupid. By the time it's too late, that kind of thing. Also, this did connect to the wall on this side, so I guess we've got to do the same thing now. And it should connect up fairly convincingly. Very cool to see. Uh, hopefully they mined up this bit already. No, they have not, but they'll get there. They will, in fact, get there. The wall is looking pretty fantastic now. That's not really too bad. I quite like it. It's reminding me of the wall. I think the crenellations will really let people know that this is, in fact, a wall from a from a good distance. Let's just zoom down right now, make sure there's no enemies. There is a spider right over there. 
and a chicken and more spiders. I can't actually get in at all now other than the back entrance through the animals and they usually get distracted by the animals anyway. So I'm not really worried about that too much. Two spiders right over there in the middle of the haunted forest. Not actually haunted, but we're going to imagine it is haunted. Just because, yeah. We don't want anyone going there. I'm not going to lie. That's why we, we're going to say it's haunted for now. Also, let's mine this up. There we are. That's why I mined up that piece, because otherwise there might have a few bugs. I'm not too sure. I don't want to deal with it right now. Go to construction, walls, and castle brick. Uh, I'm liking this. It's quite relaxing. I always find building in timber stone quite a chill experience. You're just watching the game go by, and at the pace it sort of goes at, progression is quite slow. Uh, I'm I, think I'm I think I was trying to make a point there. But I just sort of ended up saying something that was factually true. This is the facts. Read the facts. <laughs> Read the facts, ladies and gentlemen. It's completely true. You did not realize this. There we are. I'm not too sure what I'm trying to go for right now. Let's go ahead and mine the doorway right there. Or soon to be doorway. And we'll probably make sure that the walls alongside here actually connect up. So that it actually is sort of a little bit out. That, if that makes sense. Just, or pronounced, if, yeah, I think pronounced is a better word there. Just so that people can actually l like the door. You know, love the door. I say love the door. If you do not love the door, then you are not one with the door. And I think that is just an absolutely appalling thing to say. There we are, there's another spider right here in the forest. Going for one of our lumberjacks right now, who is currently chopping down this absolutely huge, uh, delicious pine right now. Luke right now. Skywalker, most probably, with that axe. He's got, like, a laser axe. Why do you never see, like, lightsaber axe? It's always a sword, but it's never, like, an axe saber or anything like that. That's quite disappointing, you know? What about Claymore version? Well, okay, there is stuff like that. Maybe there... Maybe there's... Hmm. I'm talking about the films, though. I'm not talking about any expanded universe stuff. I imagine there's probably stuff like that in the expanded universe. But, I mean, you know, you got the dual sabers... Dual wielding, you know, single handed, but no axes. <laughs> like I'm talking about the weapon of choice more than the, the way it's used. Right there, that's a fantastic right now. Look at that. Teamwork is absolutely astounding on these guys. 10 out of 10. I would buy that once again. Let's go and make sure this actually connects in the, uh, the way I wanted it to, being that it goes like this. And this is meant to make the doorway look a little bit more stable. There we are. I want to do the same right here. Actually, this is meant to go up a little bit more. There we are. And this side is also meant to go up like this. Oh, wow. They actually got that all done. That's really weird to see. <laughs> That's really weird. They did their job. Now, now I'm confused. So we won't actually do anything with this just yet. We'll put a doorway in later on because the doorway does make things a little bit awkward. Also, there seems to be like a window right here. You know what? I'm just going to fill that in. It's probably the same on the other side. Yep, there is a window. Actually, that'll be filled in later on, so that's fine. It'll just make it look like it's part of the... A part of the tower, which I quite like. I won't lie, it makes it look a little bit different. It's also another way for them to get onto the wall right there, which is very nice to see. So the walls are looking pretty good right now. Oh, they are. They're looking absolutely fantastic. They'll look even better once they're actually connected to the tower. All right, let's make sure we actually get a decent design here with our crenellations. This is going to be very strange to do. Simply because our walls right now are actually sort of all over the place. So we probably want to start right here. We want to make sure it's the same on both sides. So, uh, actually, wait. Why is that angling like this? Like It angles across by four. But yeah, on this side, it's, it's like doing this. Oh, I fucked up here again, didn't I? Oh, yeah, I did. I blocked... I blocked them off. Okay. I've screwed up this particular corner, which is interesting. We'll go ahead and just get rid of this crenellation right here, because it's actually going to be easier than I thought, because I, I guess I was confused that the way this was all constructed. That is fine, though. They should be able to mine that all up. That should be good for us to go. They can't currently sort of walk up this bit. Like I said, it's just a bit weird. We can... Mine this up though. I oh, know we can't because it's meant the door's meant to be there. So I guess we'll have to work around making a some sort of walkway or something like that. We'll see what we can do. 
I'm looking forward to getting to these second levels. Start doing some manipulation with this walkway right here. We can go ahead and get some constructions going in right along this side right here. Probably with the timbered brick, since we seem to be using that a lot more for our wall. Uh, for our... Uh... Go on, you can do it. What's the word? Go on, you can do it. Actually, what I'm confused about is why this bit's made out of wood, when this walkway is made out of timbered brick. That is a good point. Why is that? I feel like we need to get rid of that wood and turn it into timbered brick. It's kind of easy to do, so I'm not worrying about it too much. What are you doing, good sir? Get out of there. There we are. He was confused for a minute there. It was very strange. So yeah, we'll turn that bit into... Oh, there's another spider's been spotted. He is... Oh yeah, I forgot they could walk over walls. They're okay. We're not actually safe from all angles, because spiders apparently... And you didn't hear this from me. They can walk over walls. This is good to hear. Also, I completely forgot to move my timer so that I can actually see it. And by timer, I mean I don't actually have a dedicated timer. I just usually move my uh, Windows bar so that I can see what time it was and where I'm at. That way, I can get perfect 30-minute coverage right there. 24-7, 30-minute coverage is fine. I'll do that when I go and check the castle for calculations. Right there, not castle. Well, yeah, castle, but... Not, not that castle. Also, this block is going up right here, so I guess we've already started the granulation on that side. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Aha! Right, we're here now. So let's go ahead and just delete these two right there. I really wish it would delete them. That would make my life a lot easier. Actually, we didn't need to get rid of all of those. That's fine, though. We can get a construction done right here. The castle brick on either side. Do we make the granulations out of the same block? I've got a bit of a problem with that. Being that it won't be obvious. I mean, it will... It won't connect in an interesting way. Like, you can have crenellations along these parts right here, but it's not going to work. We'll have to see. So we'll put a crenellation right there. What's it look like on this side? Okay, so it does look a little bit different. It does look weird different. It looks alright different. This is it. They've always got to be one block apart. See, now this is when it gets weird, but we can actually just do it like this. There we are. And it actually starts to sort of mirror right there, which is very interesting to see. I'm right, we'll continue onwards. And then on this side, that's perfect. That's really good. Uh, it's placed perfectly along there. Along here is pretty good as well. And then along this part... We should... Uh, crenellation log here doesn't actually make a, any sense because it's going to be part of the wall. Actually, no, it's not. It's not going to be part of the wall. Yeah, we can have a crenellation on there. These are the crenellations, though. And uh, you can't really notice them until you get close up. I imagine it will become, uh, well, more significant. The, uh, m what's the more developed the castle becomes. That's what I was trying to say there. Go across like this. There we are. And then on this side, we'll just do it like that. And then we'll continue... Yeah, I imagine it'll look better once the castle becomes more developed. Simply because it will morph into the shape of the castle and the backgrounds and that lot. And it should sort of make it look like it's a very stable construction, which I'm very much looking forward to seeing. Why are they not building there? Is it because they're having a bit of trouble with the... Uh, yeah, they're probably having a bit of trouble with this. That's probably what's going on right there. That's fine. We can just mine up. A hole right here, since there's going to be a doorway on this part anyway, so mine it up, make sure it's all good to go. Now, I'm glad I got the wall done. It's a bit unfortunate because this part isn't connected very well, but we can just go in and line most of this stuff up to be a part of the wall. At the same, like, the wall doesn't have to be a set width. This is just what we've got uh, gone with. We can fill in any added holes if required, and you know, I'm starting to think of maybe it's a good idea just to fill in this entire area, just to make it look a little bit more brick-based. And these random guarding it, garden areas, I like the idea of, but we've already got a front garden, so why would they have side gardens? That's really the case right now, and I'm actually starting to think it might look really good if it's just wall along this bit. We'll get around to it. I, I think that's a much better idea than having gardens. Uh, it looks like they've actually completed that, which is very cool to see. It looks like it goes in now. Very nice. <clears throat> what? They're still sort of having a bit of trouble with that, though, which is all right, I suppose, but a bit strange. Oh, there we go. They're building on that side. Very nice to see. We will need to get the walls along here done eventually. <clears throat> Excuse me. But for now, it's all fine. It will eventually whip 
Uh, it'll eventually be long enough for this doorway, uh, for a doorway to be along there. So that's always good to see. Zoom down right here. You have so much stuff to do. It's fantastic. Oh, necromancer! <clears throat> okay, I got a little bit scared there. The necromancers are annoying as hell because their fireballs stretch on for miles. So we want to make sure we've got our lumberjacks right here. Uh, what have you got on you? You're empty. Okay, this is good for us because we can use you as sort of fireball bait. Well, make sure he's firing fireballs in this general direction and not towards the trees. Because otherwise they might miss and it might hit our building. And there's going to be fire and everyone's going to be unhappy, including myself. Let's stay idle. All of you can just stay idle. Thank you very much. Hopefully, uh, Finette right here can show her true strength. We've got four soldiers right here, so we should be able to deal with this fairly easily. There we are. We'll get them to charge. Now, while we're doing this... I feel like every block needs to go up by one extra layer. So I think, yeah, let's get that done. Let's just make sure everything goes up by an extra layer right here. In fact, an extra two might be a better idea right here. We'll make sure the doorways actually connect as well. And we'll make sure it is actually castle brick. I might be using a bit too much castle brick here. But I think it's just that it's a perfect br uh, block type in my opinion. It just perfectly morphs with the background. There we are. We'll make, sure, make sure that goes up as well. Uh, yeah, it perfectly morphs with the world of pretty much any block, really, that you can come up with. So it's... What's the word? Versatile? Is that the right word to use? I'm not too sure. I like that word. It sounds great. But is it the one I'm looking for, though? That is the, the real question right now. The inside right here, I'm going to leave for just a second. There's quite a lot left we really need to do along this part. So we'll just make sure it goes along to that corner right there. We'll do the same along this part as well. Just to try and disconnect the wall layer to the floor layer right here. There we are. Make sure this keeps going up. And I'm paused right now while doing this because all the soldiers, I want to keep an eye on them. Just in case the necromancer does something you probably shouldn't. Makes me a little bit unhappy. And then we end up having just a, a massive fight. Of great untold proportions right there. Oh, okay. No, no. Oh, okay. There we are. Got, got really scared there. Before the world ended. And this should be a doorway right along here. There we are. Got a bit of a problem down here. Let me just zoom down. There we are. Can't get everything, but that should be good to go. There's like a little cleaning cupboard in here. It's fantastic. And we'll make sure this bit gets finished off. We'll make sure that part is connected as well, even though it doesn't need to be. And you know what? It's probably a good idea if we have this bit connected as well. Even though, once again, it doesn't need to be. There we are. We'll just try and remember this. Well, we'll try and remember what the tower actually looked like there. I think that's everything. Yeah, just on the, on the corners right here. Because this is basically the wall layer. In fact, um, you know, that should be good too. Just wall off that part because it should be a doorway. Same with this part as well. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, this bit can be kept the same like this tower right here. We might want to put something across, but I'm not too sure. I quite like the idea of it sort of opening out. It's quite cool to see. There we are. So that gives everyone something to do. We'll make sure to get rid of a few miners as well because we have a bit too many now. Let's get some more builders. Got to be careful with the builders, in fact, because they might start run running into each other and... I don't like the idea of that. They should be able to walk across all this from these top layers. So they should be fine. Right. Let us charge the enemy. Let us show them their true, you know, bad things, basically. There we are. Bad things are happening now. Make sure all of our soldiers are walking toward the necromancer. Do this one at a time. And we'll just use the lumberjack as some sort of target practice for the necromancer. There we go, Finette right there. I'm looking forward to seeing you in action with your halberd right there. A very delicate weapon. I say delicate. Um, it's probably the least delicate weapon that we have. Mostly it's ferocious. Looks like the Necromancer does not give two S's about that uh, lumberjack right there. Chloe, probably a little bit annoyed at that. She thought she looked good. And don't worry, Chloe, you do look absolutely fantastic today. You know, absolutely just A-OK, -okay, 10 out of 10. I would totally shake your hand. That's fantastic. Be careful, though. There is fire everywhere. <laughs> there we are. I like how you have to sort of look 10 out of 10 in order for me to shake your hand. I'm not too sure if that's like... I mean, I'll shake your hand anyway. Like, so... I'm going to shake your hand. 
there, we, there you go. But I don't go around shaking people's hand on my head, you know. <laughs> but, you know, nothing wrong with it. Our soldiers are making their way there. As you can see, Finette is actually first, which is very strange since she should be the heaviest. And she, she got like a strong back. She's a quick learner, which is fantastic. She's holding 10, whereas everyone else is holding... Oh, everyone else is actually holding more, probably because she's got some lighter gear on. She actually does, so we got to watch out. She might die here if we're not careful. Oh, dodge that. There we are. Fantastic. Finette, I just want you to sort of stand behind the necromancers right here. Or the necromancer. Looks like someone's going to take a hit here. Looks like Stuart did take a direct hit right there. However, he should be able to be taken down before he tries to damage anyone else. Finette, I want you to just sort of dodge around right there. Because you could probably get one shot if we're not careful. Farkas right there took a significant amount of damage. Necromancers are very tough. And I'm not looking forward to facing a necromancer army. So we've got to be careful. It may happen. Oh, oh, pause. I think Chloe's taking damage. Chloe, you good? Yep, she is taking damage right there. Oh my god. Oh my god, Chloe. Chloe, don't die. Oh my god, Chloe! You... You killed a skeleton! I don't understand. Do we need a fifth soldier? She's already good at it. She's already good at it. I'm just saying... She could be an archer. No. We can't. Chloe the woodchopper. I will title you. Chloe? How do I title people before? Is it in brackets? The warrior. Did I spell warrior? Warrior. Right there, warrior. There we are. Chloe the warrior. Fantastic. She vanquished the foes while these knuckleheads right there were just sort of not doing anything at all. There we are. Go back to your... Well, go back to your zone. There we are.